Uh, hi, my name's Eric Schneider. I'm the course coordinator for the product design area, and I'm also a lecturer in the area with a, a great team of skilled and experienced lecturers. Um, our course, uh, essentially, we have three or to four different options. Uh, you can start out at a Cert 3 level in design fundamentals. Uh, there is a product design unit within that, uh, and you can pick up some basic skills which will uh, get you started on your way. We also have a Cert 4, which is offered over a full year and also a fast track option. Um, and the fast track, track option runs for the second semester of every year. In Certificate 4, it's all about, again, developing the fundamentals or learning the fundamental skills, being introduced to various software packages, developing basic drawing skills and understanding uh, the design process. And from that, you can move into the diploma level qualification where really you get to further develop those skills and build on that skills and knowledge and develop more complex projects. And then finally, we have a advanced diploma qualification where basically you can develop uh, at a much higher level, much more advanced projects. And it's also, I guess, self-guided in that you can create a portfolio within a particular industry area where you would like to work. And when you leave us uh, after the advanced deployment, you have a very strong portfolio ready to enter that chosen industry. Why you should study with us? Um, well, a very good reason is we're the only product design course currently available in Western Australia. And we're the only product design course of its type that is at a vocational level in or at TAFE uh, in Australia. There's no other product design courses currently at TAFE anywhere in Australia. One of the major draw cards, I think, of our uh, particular campus and studying at TAFE is its location. It's very central to everything uh, right in the city, easier to get to. Uh, it's surrounded by galleries, cafes, shops, uh, and also within our building, uh, you're surrounded by other creative disciplines. So we don't share a building with uh, you know, accounting or science. It's all design oriented subjects. We have fashion, graphics, interiors, uh, gaming, photography, film and TV, visual art, all in the same area, all in the same building. So there's a great creative vibe. We have great facilities and equipment. We have uh, great studios and workshops that you'll have access to. And we also have access to jewelry, jewelry studios and art and ceramic areas as well when we uh, do projects um, in that area. We also have a very long history in the product design area of positive uh, employment outcomes for our graduates. Our graduates have popped up or followed their careers all around the world, all throughout Asia, Europe and of course Australia. So it's a great qualification to travel with you. And it's also, uh, I guess, it gives you a multifaceted design knowledge and skills that can be applied to a whole range of design industries. Another great reason to study at North Metro TAFE is all of the staff in our department are actually TAFE graduates. So we know what it's like to be a student. And we also practice professionally within the local design industry. And finally, um, a great reason to study product design at North Metro TAFE is our industry contacts. Um, and they range from interior design, fashion, architecture, um, and a whole range of other local industries uh, who support our graduates and who um, uh, we look to for advice on to get the latest uh, training advice and what we need to have in our course. Um, and yeah, fantastic opportunities also for our graduates to go out into local industries as well. Well, it's very varied and very uh, interesting and very hands-on. Um, our course, uh, effectively, we teach via live projects. So what that will mean is uh, you'll get a design brief. So in other words, you'll get a design project. And then in one particular class, you might actually do the ideation, the research, the design drawing uh, and development for that particular project. And then in another unit, you might actually generate computer designs or computer renders. CAD drawings for that particular project. And then we're really, really lucky. We have our very own prototyping workshop, uh, complete with 3D printers and laser cutters and all manual tools, hand tools, power tools and equipment. And we'll actually um, work on a prototype of that particular project. So it might range from a very small 
basic white model type prototype all the way to a full scale working prototype. Um, so depending on which unit you have on which day, um, that may be what you're doing. You might be drawing, working at a computer or making something. So that's a typical day for a product design student. So the top five questions we get asked are all, and the number one is definitely, what is product design? <laughs> and look, it is a bit of a mystery. And look, the best way I can possibly answer that is, product design involves designing all of the things that you use in your day-to-day -day life and just take for granted. So it's everything from your shoes, your bed, uh, your glasses, your phone, your toothbrush, your plate, uh, your bike, your couch, all of the objects, all the furniture, products that you use on a day-to-day -day basis, they're all designed by product designers. Sometimes product design is also referred to as, as industrial design, um, but sometimes that can be a bit misleading. People think it has to do with factories, but it doesn't necessarily. Product design can be quite technical, so it could be actually working out the inner workings, the electronics, the mechanical parts of the device or a product, uh, but it could also be about something that's more aesthetic. So it could be making a beautiful light for an interior space, or it could be working out the, the case for some circuitry uh, in, the, in the form of a computer or, or something like that. It, it can be quite varied and can also encompass uh, spatial design as well. So it could be things like museum displays, um, retail displays, packaging. Um, so it crosses so many different boundaries and uh, it can also um, involve uh, humanitarian aids, uh, medical devices, and it can also be commercial products as well. Another question I get all the time is what job will I get? And that's really varied. Um, as I said before, our students leave us with a really broad spectrum of design skills that can be applied across uh, a wide uh, range of different design scenarios. So we have students who will actually go away and they'll become, um, I guess, designer makers. They might start their own furniture company or they might start out as solo freelance industrial designers. We've had graphic designers, we've had shoe designers. We have people that um, work within the boat design industry, um, construction. Uh, so the, the opportunities are really varied. So I couldn't possibly tell you today uh, the jobs that are out there. Uh, and quite often we get approached by employers looking for someone who has a particular skill that they want. And we often, um, I guess, connect students to potential employers. Okay, another question we get, do I need to be able to draw or be good at art to become a product designer? Uh, look, the, the answer to that is no. Uh, you come to, to, to TAFE or any study to learn something new. Um, drawing, you don't have to be good at it, but you just have to be willing to give it a go. We'll teach you and we'll give you different, uh, I guess, exercises and training to, to develop your, your, your drawing skills. Uh, and of course, it'll be a mix, when you get here, it'll be a mix of manual and digital drawing skills. So you might find one is more suitable than the other. But again, it is important that you can communicate your ideas and drawing can often be the quickest and easiest way to do that. Another question we get asked, number four, do I need to know about software or be good in a workshop environment? And again, the answer to that is no. Um, most people will have some, particularly if you're going through school at the moment, some experience with software, be it um, Adobe Suite. Um, but again, if you've had no computer skills or experience at all, or had no computer skills, that's fine. We'll teach you from the, you know, from the very beginning. And a lot of the software we have here, um, you'll be access, able to access outside of campus on your own computer. Uh, and there'll be some obviously licensed software that you'll be able to access on computers at TAFE as well and you'll get plenty of time uh, to use the computers and develop your skills there. And as well as workshop skills as well, you don't have to have done any manual building of anything ever before. Uh, we'll teach you again, uh, everything that you'll need to know from scratch. And finally, another question we get asked is, when I finish, can I go to university? And the answer is yes. Um, if you, particularly if you do a advanced diploma, you'll get credit in um, quite a lot of the universities um, at ECU at the moment uh, and interstate universities will also look at your qualification and might negotiate credits with you so if you do want to do further study as well and that could involve travel if you know you're thinking uh, to study in the eastern states so the answer is yes you can 
the greatest feedback we get about the course, and I guess what people enjoy the most, is it's really it's hands-on learning. Um, we actually have students uh, come to us who've already completed a bachelor's degree at university in design, and they come to us um, and they often tell us that they really enjoy the, the hands-on workshop experience, which is very different to what they're used to. And I think there's um, the students always or that we have, they always get a great deal of satisfaction from developing an idea, just you know, from a project brief, just a, a you know, a rough sketch on a piece of paper, all the way through to a working prototype. So it's kind of like bringing something amazing into the world. Um, and it's yeah, it's I think it's actually being able to realize a design from you know from its very conception into a finished product. It's really quite exciting, and it's exciting for us as well, the staff, to see what um, the students come up with in their amazing work. Uh, and another great thing, I think, and um, this is what I mentioned before, is that all of the lecturing staff are TAFE graduates. So, so we know what it's like to be a TAFE student. And I think we're all the beneficiaries of great TAFE lecturers. And by that, I mean, uh, they were very supportive, encouraging um, and flexible. And, I, you know, I think that still remains at TAFE today. Um, that all the staff are very understanding and they're very passionate and excited about design. Um, and I think that, you know, creates a really, really good, you know, learning vibe where, you know, we all have a great time designing and making. Thanks for tuning in to our lecturer lowdown for product design. Um, if you need to know anything else, please um, get in touch with us directly. That's the best way. Um, TAFE is a big place. So if you ring up, you, you know, you might not get the answer you need. Uh, so please feel free to contact us directly, uh, email, which will be included at the end of this promo. Um, see, you know, find us on uh, DM us on um, Facebook or Instagram, or come in and visit us. And we really encourage you that if you are thinking about studying, um, give us a call, get in touch. We'll organise a time, and you can come and actually have a look at our facilities and see what the students are doing, and, and see if it's right for you. Mm.